Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank the honourable member for the question. Mr. Speaker, sir, as we all know, uh, roads need regular maintenance and upgrade. <clears throat> and we've actually had a lot of legacy issues uh, with, with respect to previous governments, and there's been lack of maintenance and upgrades of our road infrastructure, sir. <clears throat> this actually led to the road user levy in 2009, sir. And the purpose of the levy really is to generate funds to, uh, to support road infrastructure development and maintenance. Now, the LTA, Mr. Speaker, sir, is responsible for the registration of all motor vehicles in Fiji. And Section 49.1 of the Land Transport Act 1998 states that a person who owns a motor vehicle or trailer shall register the motor vehicle or trailer with the authority irrespective of whether the motor vehicle is to be used exclusively on private property. And subsection 2 states that a person who has a registered motor vehicle or trailer may apply to the authority for the motor vehicle or trailer to be exempted. Furthermore, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, section 52 of the Act states that any motor vehicle or trailer shall not be registered or the registration of a motor vehicle or trailer shall not be renewed unless that road user levy has been paid under the provisions of the Act. Mr. Speaker, sir, the definition also of a motor vehicle under the law states that any automobile, motor car, motor carriage, motorcycle, traction engine, tractor, or other carriage or vehicle propelled or capable of being propelled by means of an engine powered wholly or partly by any volatile spirit, steam, oil, gas, or electricity, or by any other means other than human or animal power is actually the definition of that of motor vehicle. As long as a vehicle falls within this particular definition, it must be registered with the LTA and the road user levy must be paid. Mr. Speaker, sir, farm tractors fall within the definition of a vehicle. Therefore, registration and road user levy applies. And Mr. Speaker, sir, although most tractors operate off the road, as we all know, in farms, including those in the sugarcane belts, it actually still can be driven on the roads. Those of us that drive have actually seen tractors on the roads. Now, Mr. Speaker, sir, also, uh, uh, the law also has exemption provisions for road user levies, which states that any authority, institution, or person may be exempted from that particular payment of the road user levy by the minister responsible for transport after consultation with the authority. Exemption applications have been lodged and must be lodged with the LTA who will process and assess these particular vehicles. And not all vehicles, vehicles are given those exemptions, sir. Only vehicles that cannot be driven on a public road are, are considered. And a classic example of that is, is, as you would know, Honourable Speaker, sir, golf carts. I hope that suffices. I thank the Honourable Minister.